Hey, this is Dan. Bob. And Eric. From Gigaboots.com, and welcome to our quick play of Codename Steam. Demo. Demo. Let's go. What does Steam stand oh, for, though? I can continue you where can, you left off. Let's... Uh, you can do that if you want, or you can start a new game. Uh, did you stop in the middle of a, a round or not? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, it says turn seven. So. Okay, so then, yeah, that sounds like the middle of the yeah, round. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do something. I, I need new. you to answer my question. What, is this, what does Steam stand for? That is an uh, acronym. They, they don't... They, they don't say. They do they not say in the in the game. I don't think I've come across that. Um, in the game. It's like super team. Yeah, some team fighting extraterrestrial something. It's it's oh, a huge acronym. Okay. Action. <laughs> Ma mayonnaise. <Mob. laughs> mayonnaise. Yes, action mayonnaise. I don't want to deal with any actions mayonnaise causes. <laughs> hmm. Let me put it that way. But it, London. It, it could cause deviled eggs. Also known to Americans as not America. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the not Americas. Ew, man, I'm such a dipshit because I'm not American. Explosion goes <laughs> off. Wow, this game has me really invested. What does that say? I had trouble reading that even in uh, the, the age, age of, of Steam. Steam. The yeah. a I thought I said the age of Steam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I, Lord Steve <laughs> the First. Lord Steve the First, order you, Steve the Second, to find my brother, Steve the Fifth. All right. This is a fairly long intro. Is Feel it? free to yeah. skip. 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 As the queen Whoa. arrived. Has the queen arrived? They'll let us know when she leaves over the wireless. Whoa, voice acting. Yeah, voice yeah, acting. Still Crazy. Not this thing. Is this the first intelligent Strange systems game with voice stuff. acting? No, Wait, no, Fire, 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 Fire Emblem, I was about to say. Fire Amble. Fire Ambles. <laughs> God, that face. Uh? Yeah. That's some Arteno Blade oh, face there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Eternal Blade is, is amazing. <laughs> no. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, man, Blinken. <laughs> Blinken, Lincoln. Right. Yeah, I feel bad about that, actually. Uh, All right. So our crazy. our train crashed. No, oh, no. Our steam oh, train. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. I had to skip it. It was too 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 harsh. Too heart wrenching. So there's a tentacle Holy monster. Holy fuck! Yeah. So, Whoa. Yeah. That. Yeah, that kind of got you because that... we kept skipping those cutscenes. <laughs> By the way, tentacle monsters. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you haven't heard that they use Lovecraftian monsters for this. I have not heard that. Yes. I have now seen it with my eyes. Right. How did that go for you? <laughs> not well. So this uh. Okay. Please kind of like move camera. A turn based. Yeah. Okay, it's a okay. tile. A tile divided Valkyria Chronicles. Right. Oh, okay, so it's kind of so it's turn-based shooter-ish with tiles. The problem is, like unlike XCOM, you hard in that sort of thing you hard move into tiles. He can choose exactly where on the tile he's standing. Yeah, as you see, uh, so I, you I get can... into some interesting situations with the aiming and stuff like that. But in any case, enemies turn. Enemies turn. Oh jeez. Nice. Jeez. Yeah, this thing's pretty, pretty big. Yeah, I'm the pretty sure you're supposed to just run tentacles. all the way out, Bob. I, I, I could make know. it. You, you talk to the sign. And yeah, it gives no, you I, could, I could, didn't have enough squares to get to the sign. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen that in one of my Japanese anime. My anime, I mean, porn. Let's go. It's not porn. It's etchy. Come on. <laughs> it's completely different. Guys, the correct term is hentai. Thank oh, you. Uh -huh. All right. Maybe now know. we'll get a gun. I've done extensive research. <laughs> oh, everyone's dead. The for end. my master's thesis, I have brought for you today Doraemon Sorry, buddy. <laughs> and Bible Black. <laughs> and Bible Black. We will now study the difference. <laughs> you don't even go to college here. Get out. <laughs> Who are you? In case you can't tell, I'm a fat <laughs> weeaboo. <laughs> I'm gonna. I tip my fedora. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And then as he's More leaving, milady. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. Let's get. This is everything that is terrible about Let's humanity. Let's never talk about it again. After this, we'll just watch uh, the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> uh. All right, now you'll see. Like this also makes Shoot it so thing. going at angles will make you pretty screwed. Why on were those movies. boxes appearing and disappearing? Uh, you mean that? Oh, they're going white. Yeah, oh, they go targeting. Yeah, them. if you target them, they go white. Okay, yeah. they were blending really well with the floor tiles for a second. So the point you were trying to make is diagonally moving across the tiles counts as two moves. 
right. run in one direction or one in the other. Right, okay. So, Which is super weird for a game like this. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you see that area you're in, and it kind of is, like, square for square, rigidly designed, where you go this way and then that way. And I feel like a lot of environments like that, but there are some more open areas where it's just, like... You just send out yeah, a weird, yeah, like, they, all, 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 Most of the... Oh, that, that, those things are just tutorial messages. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. they're okay. nothing special. Yeah, they give you more energy to move slash shoot, though, so that's cool. Right, I'm gonna stop here. And because he has enough to shoot, Enemy's but he stopped, turn. he's now capable of counterattacking if anything comes in line of sight. I, like, I should do uh, here. But that's something else. It seems like... See, that time, it just slashed him, yeah. and he didn't fire at all. It hasn't introduced that mechanic yet. Maybe oh, this gun maybe doesn't why. do this. Okay. Oh, it's different, like, because he gets sets to give you different abilities here? Possibly. Or, or you oh, might be got right, to it's work. the tutorial, so maybe you... It, it won't let you do the advanced maneuvers until it tells you how to do the advanced maneuvers. Right. Which is, you know, a thing. Yeah, which is a little silly because it's like... That takes more time to program. Right? Like, you just put development time into restricting me during your tutorial because of raisins? Yeah, also demo, so maybe it's only for the demo. Oh, maybe. Enemy sighted. Or maybe they don't want you accidentally like, wait, how did I? Why did I do that? They want a more rigid so tutorial experience. So what you might notice there with Bob is that he was like sort of Enemy inching sighted. towards the edge of the tile to get this exact angle. Yeah. There's a lot of that in this game. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of fidgeting slightly in order to get a good. The shot. bottom of the screen is also an analog oh, stick. Oh, I like that little slidey. The For, way that morphs a little. But bit. It's, yeah. it's not. It looks it's, neat. Yeah. It doesn't feel great. <laughs> Yeah, any but, but I hear control of cameras, not great. Yeah, never. Uh, didn't work at Super Mario 64 DS as a ooh, movement thing ooh, either. Ooh. Does anyone remember that thing you were supposed to strap to your oh, thumb oh, in order to yes. use the plastic tip? To oh, this is like an analog stick. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it is. Get isn't. out. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> two, two Japanese men Enemy saying he would like to play. This is my home. I don't want you here. No, that's touching is good. That's completely. <laughs> oh, you're right. That was a different. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. I just went to the most recognizable one because I didn't remember that. <laughs> yeah. Campaign. Yeah, it was weirdly edgy for Nintendo. Yeah. Worked out long term. Sure did. I don't even know if they needed it with the DS. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. It seemed sold like hotcakes giving blowjobs. Yeah. It, it, that's true. Which hotcake blowjobs? Very blow hot. Jobs. Let's name a band that. Hotcake blowjob. Is it, is it gonna be like Nickelback levels of music? Because I think that works really well with a band name. This is something else that uh, this, this guy. Oh yeah, game. Do. Push. <laughs> you, that was not a push. Them. No, he just. I kicked. feel like your definition of push. No, that was like his my... definition of push. <laughs> <laughs> Bob ain't one. making the calls here. That guy is. Oh god. <laughs> Cyber Jack Lemon. I don't know. What is, what is this guy's name? I don't remember. Hank? Henry something? Henry? Yeah, it's Henry. Oh, Henry. John Jacob Jingleheimer. Fuck you. <laughs> wow, that's really weird. Why would you do that? Marth. His name's Marth. <laughs> His name, Ike. Just you put, uh -huh. it, put that amiibo in you'll, there. You'll Just, see. Yeah, looks that at book. people sternly. Yeah, the books are, he are the healing items. Oh. Strangely enough, they have a heart on them, so I guess that's where. So they're just yeah. random drops in the middle of the level. They, no, they are strategically put. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, they're onto me. Can other units place them I've in the field? Spotted. No, there is a ca character with a healing gun though. Okay. I don't know if we'll get to her in this Man, demo or not. Why don't we have healing pretty, guns? Because that's pretty far. Yeah, this is a pretty long demo. What? Yeah. Why don't we have healing guns? I feel like we should have them. <laughs> What would it shoot? Heal! It would shoot healing! That's what! Okay. The little pluses that go up on the sides, like, yeah, you're being healed, I know this. Now I'm just like, okay, what's what's the what only positive thing you can reduce to a liquid cream or radio wave? And I was like, I guess, I guess, you know, probiotics are good for you, so you like, Bacteria. It, it's just yogurt. You're yeah, like just spraying you. yogurt at their mouth and they're like, thank you! <laughs> I, I was thinking, um, some sort of bandage gel. <laughs> Let me switch out the magazines you put in Tatsiki. Yeah! <laughs> and they're like, oh my god! Spanakopita. Spanakopita. It just shoots whole Spanakopita. Oh my god. Can we stop talking about this delicious, delicious gun? 
Because now I want, I'm angry that we don't live that in a world. That we don't live in a world where Spanakopita is be shot readily out of a available. Gun. Oh, okay, yeah. The gun <laughs> thing Into is, my mouth. Directly. The gun thing's pretty neat, too. <laughs> so, hey, there's this video game. Right? Yeah. Okay, now it's going to teach me that Overwatch mechanic. Which is a dumb name for a counterattack. <laughs> yes. In fact, no part of over and watch really ties into what you're doing there. Yeah, because they just here they just tell you, hey, use, you're able to use over. But I have Overwatch. a sudden desire to apply to uh, buy Blizzard games. Yeah, weird, weird. Oh, and that thing is a Steam pickup. It'll refill my Steam completely. Oh, is your because Steam he's is operating. Your ammo, yeah, yeah. So Steam is it's my ammo, ammo and movement because huh. it's both that bar at the bottom there. So if you sit and charge your Steam, you'll. It can only refill to his maximum capacity well, each course. time. So. And he's using an Overwatch attack too, so he hit me. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh, you tried to turn the corner. Yeah. You're a dangerous man who lives oh dangerously. Oh my god, I thought that I could get back. Oh. Yeah, I find that kind of annoying yeah, of like, if really... you take your time walking away from them, they'll counterattack you again. Yeah, it's really annoying. I, this Enemies game turn. reminds me a whole lot of Valkyria Chronicles, but it does everything in a more annoying way, in my opinion. Like, so the, the counterattacks in that, just if someone can see an enemy, they will fire an enemy. So Valkyria Chronicles is like the 17 or 18 year old version, where it's just going through some weird changes and dealing with feelings and stuff. And this is eight year old annoying as shit version, where it's like, why aren't you functional? <laughs> Be a normal human. <laughs> it's like, mm, no, <laughs> no, I want candy. <laughs> candy now, please. I'll cry. I will cry. I'll I can cry. Do that on command. Let's see him run Pulls up a knife. You Where tested me. Huh? Sometimes they'll just run at you, so you're I able to shoot it back at them. Did yeah. they not do that? They didn't do that. So God, fuck. Because this doesn't teach you Overwatch attack very well. Yeah. So <laughs> what? What is supposed to happen there? Is he will look at the entrance and just end his turn and enter Overwatch. So then the enemies run through it and he shoots them, yeah. thus teaching him the mechanic of the counterattack. Gotcha. A lot of then times twice it doesn't. Now, it doesn't. It doesn't I mean, you. you you add that to how many times it's happened to me. That's three total. Did it happen to you? Yeah. So that's four at Enemy least. Turn. Four times this level hasn't worked right for some reason. Huh. D demo. Shitty tutorial? Shitty tutorial also? Yeah. So now, um, now I'm eating it because they didn't do that. Excited. That's cool. Players turn. <laughs> Players turn. Trogdor. Uh, <laughs> and now I don't have enough to do, be ready a, a, a Overwatch attack if I want to kill him. Yeah. So you should just chill and try to move slightly to get out of line of sight. Cause you can see that red arrow is kind of right. I'm still in. in yeah, I think. But that they, might I think. Work. Oh, that red arrow is still there, so he can still see me through this little fence. Maybe. Oh, okay. But yeah, he knows where I am, though. He's just gonna run in here and shoot me. Yep. Then I'm gonna die. Is there a way to just restart? Restart map. Because I think what happens is if they see you, then it just screws the whole tutorial. Yeah. Even though part of the tutorial is, oh, they're using well, Overwatch right. attack. Right. Part what? of it is supposed to sort of. Te yeah. 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 yeah I don't. We're gonna ease you into our game, but if you fuck up, you're done. Oh, you let the enemy see you? Now this entire tutorial doesn't work. But I knew. Yeah. But hey, think about it this way. Enemies fuck you. <laughs> you're right, game. Holy shit. I never thought about that It's before. like that time Star Trek The Next Generation Season 7 taught me I should stop giving a shit about their lore. Now, that, <laughs> an Overwatch attack. See, now I did if it right. I, if they cool. don't care anymore, Good then job. why should I? <laughs> I mean, Gene Roddenberry's dead. Why shouldn't all joy be, too? <laughs> Let's see if they'll just walk right in again. I forget his... I, I keep forgetting that his wife had Enemy's heavy involvement turn. with uh, Star Trek Enterprise. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, yeah the that's... last series they made. Yeah, I never knew that. Yeah. Player's turn. Burst. 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 And to be one. fair, that looked better than... um. Oh, what were those two? Deep Space Nine and Voyager? Yeah. Yeah, that looked better than those. I mean, if if we're talking Deep Space Nine, it has to be better than that. It just has to be. Now, if I recall correctly, okay. Warkana and Agro may be fans of Deep Space Nine, but I don't know, so we're gonna continue to sit on it and assume, you know, we don't know. Even if you knew, okay, you'd I still was, shit on it. I was Maybe. prepped 
for an Overwatch attack, and that guy just walked up and shoot, shot me. Yeah, sometimes and, they just hit you yeah, sounds, before, kind of like the thing with the blade earlier, where it go. slashed him and he didn't counterattack. That just happens. Yeah, sounds, it's just it's unreliable, and it's really weird. I'm like, it's, I, I go to intelligent systems true. expecting kind of like a more a simplified... Shallow yeah, yeah, shallow, shallow gameplay that's rock solid and plays out in interesting ways strategically. But he can Overwatch attack me from there. That's great. I love it. Yeah, um, so in any case, with the new 3DS XL, you get to use the C-Stick to aim. That's why it's not working now on that new 3DS thing. Yeah, you could counter uh, counterattack if it knew where your face oh was. Oh my god, imagine if that was a thing. This thing, this game is broken, unless you buy the more expensive new version of this hard I feel like something has to have done that at some point. Like, Game Boy Color, maybe? Yeah, I'm but like, this game's, added color. This game's... Difficulty curve is so insane unless you scan in infrared remotes. Yeah, they had that awesome Bomberman on the Game Boy Color. You ever play it? Oh, it's one of the best Bombermans I've ever played. It had a really good single player. Yeah, and did, like did, what, what you could get like items. Constantly jumping. I don't, I don't know. Because I think I own that, that, but it's busted. I think like some corrupted the battery. But yeah, that was. That but, was a good but like one of the things was like. Uh, it had RPG elements kind of sort of there was an overworld and you got items Okay, I don't think it was that okay, bad. and then you could scan in and this was a cool shit to me back then It was like you could take a remote control Tell it you're about to scan in an infrared signal and then it would give you an item based on that So you just go find all these different TV remotes <laughs> So it's just like the CDs in Monster Rancher. All it right. is. And it was um, cool. A and similar... The late 90s were the coolest time period ever, so shut the fuck up, kids. Similar thing <laughs> for Pokemon Gold and Silver. Like, they had that present system. Mm -hmm. And if you, like, connected to Pokemon games, my brother and I did this, you could get, like, wallpapers for yeah. your room. And yeah, you two and would just keep re-gifting each other you or something. Once a day, so, and it yep. had an actual clock, so it, you couldn't just So it like, knew. Herbert and Dermot, it's the next day. It's like, no, I know. You put in the time. Don't you lie to me. There was a, <laughs> a ep ball. episode of Game Sack recently on the CDI. Mm -hmm. Something about That's it I never game. knew, because this is insane, and it's the only console ever to do this. There is a watch right. battery in it that keeps track of time. Yeah. If it dies, nice which it will eventually, your console no longer works at all. Sure what? Wow. Also, it's too soldered too in. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to jump your console or something? You have to un you have to take a soldering iron, get it out of there, and replace it with a unit that can just normally replace the fucking watch battery. All right, we got we got a new character for this. Man, who party. cares? Fucking planned Let's talk about game sack and the Holy CDI. Shit. <laughs> fucking incredible! It was amazing too. What do you because get? Chasing smoke. Ugh. It's that chapter. Oh, I see. Uh, but when they bring it up, they're like, who would design smoke a thing with there. a non-replaceable battery that'll stop operating smoke. when the battery dies? God! And then an iPhone just drops Everybody next to it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck Apple. We've come so far, I hope. <laughs> you know there are Android phones that are like that, too. And it's like... But your phone isn't sleek. Why did you do that? <laughs> Reach the goal. All right. Now we get to mess around with the grenade launcher. <sighs> that's, so that's Hank. You get to use the bear grenade. He's John, I think. John, 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 like the John the, Henry, I believe. John Henry, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, John. John's bear grenade. You guys remember that old like Disney movie that was like this kid who befriended every single American folk hero. Yeah, Pocahontas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what what happened? Like he just went, hey you No, know, he like went on like he was trying to fight some like Paul. weird corporation that was trying to tame the West. And, and he was like, hey like, Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan and, and Johnny Appleseed. Yeah. And yeah, I, 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 I vaguely I recall this like thing this. and I yeah. remember it was just a rambling piece of shit, if I remember correctly, because yeah, it was like, right. why is he meeting all these people, and what is the It was point? cool, one of them lassoed a, a tornado. Oh, yes, that was neat. because it was that guy. Yeah. Who is that guy? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, did Paul Revere ride a ghost horse around? <laughs> no, I don't think so. That'd be pretty cool. You know Paul Revere didn't actually do that impressive of a no. horse ride to tell everyone. It was like three miles or something. No, and then when he got there, he stopped at a bar and like, made a like a fucking ruckus, and that's how he alerted people. Nice that's Apparently. incredible. Oh, oh and no. then there's some other guy with a way worse name who actually rode 21 miles yeah, or some shit no along the coastline because, because it doesn't rhyme. <laughs> yeah. 
fucking, what was it? With whatever that line was. Midnight Ride so, of Paul Revere so, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I think you will hear the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. Yeah, there we go. Grab a chair and you will hear yeah, blah, okay. blah, 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 blah. That thing. So this is a lot of the game. Yeah, there's a lot it of just, waiting for a lot of waiting. Movement. Just telling you that things are moving and then you're just staring at nothingness, but the camera keeps shifting around. Right. It, it's real weird. Because you're not doing that. Right. That's the game. That is the game. Like, uh, Valkyria Chronicles will do a sim sure. similar thing where if you can't see the guy, the it'll go up to a, a map and you'll just, it'll say, enemies moving. If you can't see the guy, started. you'll twitch to one of the characters okay. and see him. And, and they'll look, the and yeah, yeah you'll see like shake, rushing in the shake, bushes shake, and stuff. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, shake, shake. Lots of shake, shake. Um, and I got with the grenade launchers here. I can don't actually adjust the see. range of it using the thing upper right. Oh, uh, yeah. And Ari can use the, up and down. It actually moves that. I don't remember where the so face that, pad button. That sort of eliminates you from needing to aim your character up and down in order to change the arc, which if you do that, if you hit up on the camera controls, you'll notice it doesn't do anything. Yeah, which is good, because, man, that would get real annoying. I mean, aiming in this is already one of the most frustrating things to me. Right. Uh, just because of that whole, like, you're in this tile, but we don't pre-calculate based on tile. We calculate vision based on... 3D geometry, so... I feel like they were just like, we like tiles, Fire Emblem, tiles are safe. And, we need yeah. tiles. <laughs> you know what I need? Advance Wars. Yeah, I know, this is... You know this I is need? not Advance Wars. Another Paper Mario. Didn't you get enough? <laughs> I got you two. had your sh share. We got there two three. actual arc... There's like, Thousand Year Door. Oh, that's... They, wait, wait, wait. Super oh, Paper Mario wait. was a side-scroller. And Sticker Star is horseshit. <laughs> okay, well there you go. You got two and a horse shit. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Also, uh, the, the grenade guy, he can't do Overwatch attacks. So okay. just okay. so he just can't counter now. and yeah, that's a bit of a liability. So Bob, this game's gonna be thirty-five, forty dollars. I believe forty. That's what okay. Nintendo okay. typically launches uh, their games at. Uh, I'm noticing Valkyrie Chronicles here on Steam, twenty dollars. Huh. Uh, if you go to a game store, it'll probably be more than that for the PS3 because... No, I think it's like 15 or 20. Oh, oh I figured yeah. being this long, it may have attributed in value. No, it's one of those is like, no, this just isn't popular, okay. <laughs> Great. Also, it has a way better art style. It does, like... Uh, the 3DS kind of limits how you can, how well you can do this sort of, uh... I hate that they're calling it a Silver Age comic style because it really doesn't look like that. It just looks like bad cell shaded. A little bit, yeah. yeah. I don't see that comic book style at all. That they I keep mean, saying. They, they, they have more exaggerated characters. I guess I kind of see that. But oh, but and then the cutscenes are partially in comic book panels, I saw. Right. So there's like, it's, see, it's like a comic. Okay, just because you put it in comic book panels. I don't know that these characters are especially oh, exaggerated. I mean, like, they're, they're huge upper body, smaller lower body. It, it, Okay, feels... so Gears of War is comic book style? Kind of. Maybe? A little? I mean, those aren't humans. <laughs> right, no, they're big <laughs> machines. Clearly, just... <laughs> Man, wouldn't that be great if there was a spinoff of Micro Machines that was meat <laughs> machines and no, it was like Bacon it Mobile? It wouldn't... <laughs> well, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> and it's it Scratch just, and Sniff, it was too. Just, it's just these huge brick house men, <laughs> barrel chested, running around. <laughs> they have <laughs> wheels on their chest and they just fly around they your go, house. Vroom, vroom. And they slowly but surreptitiously turn you into a homosexual who's like, this is cool. And then like 10 years later, you're like, dicks are cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Meat machines. <laughs> We're putting out some good life advice. Yes, I can see. I can hear that. This is uh -huh. top quality banter right now. I, I think so. I don't know. Because man, I, I still, I still think calling things with a larger upper body comic book style is it's asinine. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's plenty I mean, of things it's, done that. I see one. I can see where they're going for a more more of a Western aesthetic than a Japanese aesthetic. And so that, of course it's what, comic. Books. That's what they're trying to say, but I don't. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't really hit that well. Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't look like any comic book that I know of. Look, man, they put it in comic book panels, like Eric said. It's it's a comic book. Wait, so Mirror's Edge was a comic book game? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what are we doing here? We could be playing Mirror's Edge. <laughs> All right, this is so right. This is a weird mechanic here. There's, there, this is a save point. Wait, what? Yeah, this is just in what? the middle On of the stages. There are save points. You can mm -hmm. use them to save your game, and then if you want to spend coins, which you get coins by killing enemies and finding them in stages, 
you can restore your health or restore the health of everyone on your team. That you, this will act as a checkpoint if you die. If you go back oh, to it. Okay. It's it's a little strange. What? Yeah, I know. I don't. I, don't I know. feel like there was like two teams that wanted to make different <laughs> games here. <laughs> And one was like the Fire Emblem team who was like, let's make it the tactical thing. The other one's like, let's make it a shooter. A exploration shooter. I mean, all I'm collectible coins. The only vibe I get from this game is that Nintendo said, hey, neither Advance Wars nor Fire Emblem is really geared at American. Make an American geared game. So then they're like, Steampunk Lincoln, the Queen, and a lion. Walk a bar. Balloons? Yeah, it does. A bacon cheeseburger <laughs> and a big gulp. Walk into a bar. My favorite two characters. No, walk into a Walmart liquor section. And they buy guns. <laughs> yep. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a fully automatic AK-47? And he replies, yes. Here you go. No money changes hands. <laughs> Just a wink and a knowing nod. <laughs> yep. So I'm just gonna, while you're doing that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show Eric a gun show comic. Okay. You would, wouldn't you? Okay, when you're done taking the image in, just press and hold your thumb on the image. They're on to and me. then read that text. Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. You're Gun welcome. Show Comics, everybody. So, so great. You'll never know. Gunshowcomics.com <laughs> slash 589. Okay, maybe you will know what I looked at. <laughs> maybe you'll know exactly what I looked at. Say, Bob. Okay, that's really weird. I was able to set up a counterattack for an enemy I was just looking at. I, I've done that. that, that yeah. So that's bad. super strange, because you actually do more damage with the counterattack than you do with the regular attack. Yes, because... But it uses yeah. the same amount of steam. Uh-huh. So it's better to just do that oh, when you can get the game to do that, but it doesn't always do that. Yeah. Because this game is a shambling pile of systems that don't really form a cogent and enjoyable game. In my experience. With a demo. The game releases, like, in days. A demo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it, unless you're trying to search, the final game's drastically different don't from think this. I don't see you. Maybe they and fixed the, these anyone, issues. I, I think know. the last time... I think the last time, even at that level of like, these systems now work, and they did it in the demo, uh, was early PS2 for uh, me. I think that's the last time. Can you think of anything, Bob, where it was like, I'm trying to, this demo was super garbage, and then the game just worked. Gotcha. I can't think of anything, no. I think it was a PlayStation Underground what? thing for right. PS2, I, I, where it was just like, I oh, remember Tenchu is... improved from the demo to the full game, but. Uh, Tenchu 1? Uh, 3, sorry. Oh, okay. Man, I forgot we had a demo for Tenchu 3. I, I kind of have a problem remembering a time before Tenchu 3 that <laughs> was looking forward to Tenchu 3. <laughs> that was back in the day where games just happened. <laughs> like, oh, and this that, game now. Right. Like, out. oh, this game's out. I guess let's buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless, uh, unlike nowadays, where it's like almost all of the game sales ever are d on day one for disc based <laughs> games. And it's like, wow. That probably says a lot of stuff about gaming culture. <laughs> Sometimes the uh, Overwatch attack can knock them out like that, too. It can happen one. to you as well if you get overwatched. Mm -hmm. It could happen to you. <laughs> uh oh, it's gonna shoot me. Ah, that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, I don't really enjoy this game. I don't either, um, and I'm. I'm not saying this to be like, oh, this is shit. Um. And, you know, my saltiness about Advance Wars just carried in me so far as to not care about it until there was a demo, and then I was excited. In fact, the first time I saw it was in that uh, Nintendo Direct at the beginning yeah. of January. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. Um, Let's do this. Who yeah, th I, this isn't oh, really so fun. I don't know. Like, it just doesn't work well I'm enough for me to enjoy it. Most of the time, I just am frustrated. Yeah, I haven't hit, hit one of the issues I got hit with more often when I was playing before. Yeah. If you're which... hovering over two things, sometimes they'll... Oh, yeah, the cursor. The we cursor talked will... about that in the latest podcast. Uh, yeah. The cursor will just lose track of them. I had a lot of times where the cursor was right over them, and then it just didn't land. Um, and it doesn't give you an accuracy percentage, which... Right, which would be nice. That would. Does Valkyria Chronicles... 
Um, it gives you something like that, and like then you also weak points uh, that, that you're trying to hit, which are weak points in this as well. I guess yeah, I, in fact, the giant glowing butt yeah. is a weak point. That's why some of his bullets did 50 damage instead of 25. But since uh, your main dude there has a spread on his shots, because it's faster repeating right. shot, uh, yeah, only one of them hit the weak point, and the other one is just hit it. Yeah, uh... And we just store just How like did you put it, Bob? You're like, you expected better from intelligence systems? Yeah, I, I definitely expected better from them. Let's they, do this. I mean, like I said b earlier, like, I expect, like, simple mechanics that are just polished to one. such a point that it that, feels that, great. Yeah, and that's why I like Advance Wars. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter that things do flat-based damage to each other for the most Enemies part. Turn. Because terrain comes into play and all sorts of CO abilities and things. Right, and even really fire emblems. And then like you realize none of it matters because whoops. Max rolls over your face with tanks. <laughs> yep, and that's why we don't play Fire Emblem 1 or uh, Advance Wars <laughs> original vanilla Classic. anymore. <laughs> Unless we're all just going to be Max. Oh my god. The only, or none of them can be Max. Man, I need to find a fucking homebrew patch version of that because <laughs> I know they're out there. There yeah. are people who are like, yeah, we rebalanced. Yeah, yeah, they rebalanced the fucking game because that CO power is crazy broken yep. in a way that's hilarious because like the game doesn't tell you the hard numbers. So when you look it up on the internet and some asshole on GameFAQs is like, oh, here are the numbers and you're like, that's what? madness. So, what? Andy heals. There's units. That's cool. Oh, her. She can like super take cities, and her soldiers I mean, are pretty good. Check this Max, out. Max, it just destroys you. <laughs> Max, <laughs> my tanks become immortal. Max does. Max does a buff to not only the movement of his tanks, but also 30 percent additional damage. Yep. Now we, tanks already do huge damage, yeah. and it's 30 percent additional. His tanks. Now even. real quick, regular tanks uh -huh. do a lot of damage. Max's tanks do even more damage. damage. Max's tanks on his CO, CO power are gods. You you cease to be where you once stood. There is now nothingness. Now check this out, just as flat numbers. I'm gonna throw these out. 30 percent buff so to damage. To is a CO power and healing things for 20% is, is a CO power. Does that seem a little like backwards? No, it's fine. Everything's okay. great. Oh, okay. This is annoying. I'm trying to shoot over this thing, uh -huh. but I, there's no way I can tell what's over there. You're supposed to blind fire because you can't you actually see shoot what's over, over there. Thing. Uh, can you use your other dude to see oh, about, like, get a good look at it from behind there, maybe? Oh, yeah, a little bit, but I mean, I can't see where it's going to hit. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, no, you can't. That'd be really funny if you could, though. Maybe I can shoot it over there and clear out the, the stuff in front of him, at least. You broke something, right? Broke everything. That's good. No, he has no bones. Ooh. Yeah, and then yeah, he, he steps out there and you get no. shot. Right, but I'm just gonna shoot back. So there. And then you can take so long readying that shot that he shoots you again. You can. Um, which sucks. Yeah, something Valkyria Chronicles does is, uh, once you go to shoot, like, there's a separate aim mode, and that prevents other ca characters from counterattacking you. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. So, um... Enemies turn. I, it's, it's starting to sound like an ad for Valkyria Chronicles, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean... a lot of things, and there's nothing... None of it is, uh... <laughs> that... <laughs> Leave it to me. There we go. I mean, that's the thing. We're basically like, saying, you should play Intelligent Systems other games. Yeah, it's an ad for every other game by them. Because I really think yeah. every other game by them is better. Mm. Even, like, the second Advance Wars. I, I or find Dual it, Strike, which is considered the worst one. I find it funny how many times they make that mistake of, oh man, we balance this horribly. Like, Fire Emblem Awakening had the same thing of, oh, this power just is the best. <laughs> how do you... Cause it's like, Does Nintendo just not offer them proper QA or something <laughs> for people to suss out? Or maybe out, the like, one, they have just the one QA guy who makes really bad decisions. <laughs> it's like, oh, is it, it, it's this ability lets them just move a, move and attack again if they kill a guy. The yeah, oh, that, doesn't, so, that sounds so balanced just, to you? Is they just fucking, the domino effect? They fucking <laughs> animate through people Tell doing these one swipe kills the yeah. whole way across the map like it's fucking checkers. <laughs> It's stupid. And jumped, and jumped, and <laughs> jumped, and king me. Well, it, it only works once, so you only get to kill two guys oh, in one I turn. It was a constant, like, right? Which, -da 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 -da. that's not marvelously broken. That's just a little overpowered. I, I was hoping for a murder Star. marathon, but no. Oh. I was hoping for max scale catastrophe. <laughs> right? It's not that scale, I have to say. 
All right, we've played a good bit of this. Yeah, know. I'm kind of done, honestly. Like, yeah. there's not much more we can say. Well, or it's like about. depressing because the reason why we want to be done is because it's like, turn. yeah, I re like. <sighs> A lot of people on the internet like to believe I like shitting on games, which is, could not be farther from the truth. I'm just really sad. I would have really liked a turn-based strategy on my 3DS. I've got yeah, I, I like this genre a lot. I, it's I too bad that their first attempt at it was kind of... Took a little yeah. Beat yeah, hopefully... Hopefully the... What was it? I kept saying this game's aesthetic was too epic bacon for me. <laughs> yes. Um, hopefully the epic bacon aesthetic here will draw enough juggalos in to fucking buy the thing without even knowing what it's about. With that a name like Codename Steam? I don't know. They, that's... That's true. It should be called Steam Explosion or Exploding Kittens or yeah, something Laser epic Face. Epic Steam Time. Yeah, there we go. Epic, epic Steam Time. Epic Steam Lincoln. Or Laser Face Lincoln. <laughs> that too. Are you a bad enough dude to save the queen? I'm good to go. Are you a dapper enough gentleman to save the queen? There we go. Okay. The sequel to Malaga Rising Revengeance needs to be a history piece. Yes. Yes, it's okay. a period piece on women's suffrage. What? <laughs> Yes, it'll be incre incredible. You'll have like this this white American woman who's just fucking bayonetta slash riding as hell, and there's a government conspiracy to keep women from voting. So and instead it's over the top of, of shit. picketing and protesting, you just murder people with a katana. Of course. Okay. I saw this weird thing. It was on HBO, right? It was this uh, stand-up comedy bit by Robert Wool. Nobody's side. ever heard of the guy, so it's okay. Uh, and at one point, he was just quizzing this class because he, via HBO, he was able to get hold of a, like, college class. Gotcha. Um, so he goes in and he's like, oh, yeah. okay, everyone, we're just gonna ask some basic trivia. Okay, Obama is the first, Enemies and it was before he was elected. It's this old. And it's like, Obama is the first, and everyone's, like, black political, you know, candidate. And he's like, wrong, it's this guy. And he cuts like to this candidate 50 years ago that was black and running for presidential office. And I'm like, what? And he's like, there's also this woman, so don't say it in a few years when Hillary runs. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. So he's the first, what, what guy from One, Hawaii or something? Or from who was running for president? Or what, well, what, yeah, what in that case, thing? he would be the first black president, for one. That would be the most okay, noteworthy okay. thing. But, but like he, would, that time. he would maybe be Hawaii? I don't know. I feel like that's probably wrong. There's probably someone from Let's Hawaii who ran for president before. I can't think of anyone. Because most of them are from Texas. Because there are a lot of bushes. <laughs> so many bushes here. So many bushes. It's not actual shrubberies, but like crouched over it. bush family members. Yep. I really like how Giggling you... Giggling all of them. I like how you lined your uh, lawn with all these nice bushes. Tee-hee. <laughs> 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 <More> bushes. <laughs> Gigaboots has been brought to you by the support of our producers, Vincent Poverk and Cywolf, via our Patreon. Consider becoming a Gigaboots patron today.